Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make and use the different chargers from the chargers mod that's included in the Sky Factory mod pack. Uh, these are blocks and items that you will use to recharge different items such as armor and weapon, things that require RF power that you wear or carry. Find this video helpful and you like it please be sure to click like but most importantly please remember to hit that subscribe button that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out okay so there are several different types of chargers first there's the charger tier one for that you're going to use two redstone block of redstone and six iron ingots make a charger tier two it's going to be one of our Charger tier one, block of redstone, piece of redstone, and six gold ingots. Make a charger tier three, charger tier two, block of redstone, piece of redstone, and six diamond. And to make a wireless charger, you need an ender pearl, block of redstone, piece of redstone, and six iron ingots. All right, so. I have already set up over here a power source. We've got a battery with solar power running into that, so we've already got that taken care of. I have an energy extraction cable coming off of that. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect our charger tier one. Now, as we scroll over, we'll see that the charger tier one has a certain amount of energy. It says right there in the top 25,000 FE. That will also work for RF. And different items can be charged inside of it. I have here a platinum jetpack. You place the jetpack in, it will slowly begin to charge it, as you can see. It uses a lot of energy, so it takes a while to charge that all the way up. But it is going to slowly charge that platinum jetpack. So this is great for different armor and weapons and charms, things that need to be recharged occasionally. Uh, this is a great way to just place the item in there. Once it is done, it will eject it into this spot here. Let's take that out. We'll go ahead and break that. So now we're going to do a charger tier two. It works the exact same way, except you'll see this one holds 500,000 FE or RF. And again, if we take that same jetpack and place it in here, it's going to charge it again, but it's going to use way more. Now, this time I've completely drained the solar bank out. It being night, it's not recharging. So let's go ahead and make it day here. There we are. Solar's back up and running and our battery is recharged. So we're going to go ahead and put the platinum backpack in there. And again, it's going to drain it really, really fast because this charger tier two is drastically faster at transmitting. So as quickly as power is coming in from my battery, it is going directly into the jetpack. And you can see it's still going to take a while to charge it. Again, platinum jetpack has a lot of power storage. All right, so now we're going to do jetpack, or sorry, uh, charger number three. And it's the exact same situation, except this one, as you can see, will hold over a million FE. So even more so. So when I put this in, it's going to drop it quick because it's going to transmit power even faster. As you can see, if we look at our battery, the battery is having a very hard time keeping up with it. I have a large amount of solar going to that. The power is going directly in refilling this jetpack. So once that is done and it is full, it'll drop it into the bottom slot and then the charger will recharge. All right, so the last one we're going to look at, we're going to switch from a jetpack for this one, is going to be a phaser rifle. I'll grab that. So the wireless charger works the same concept, except you don't have to put the item inside of the charger. We connect a wireless charger. As you can see down in my bar, the phaser rifle I have right here is already filling up. Now, the wireless charger will only hold up to 200,000 FE, but it will charge anything that you're wearing or carrying within a specific range. So it's very handy if you put one or two in your work area where you're doing a lot of your crafting or building. You don't have to keep coming back and placing your items inside a charger to recharge them. They will recharge automatically as long as your power source continues to transmit power to it. Now, again, depending on what you're wearing and how much you're using it, a wireless charger can eventually run out of power, may not keep up with it. So you want to keep an eye to make sure that whatever you're wearing and using isn't overtaxing the system or else you'll have to add an additional wireless charger 
with an additional power source. But this one's extra handy and the one that I use the most. I'll drop it down in my main crafting or build area to recharge all of my gear and weapons as I'm just working on other projects. But all of these chargers are part of the charger mod and they're pretty easy to make, especially the tier one. You can make that relatively easy early in the game. So when you're getting a hold of a few of items that you need to charge. You can go ahead and get those charging up really, really quickly. All right. Well, these chargers are something I definitely recommend using. Uh, you're going to need them at, usually at some point. So as soon as you can start making one, I would recommend doing so. It's going to benefit you on a lot of the different things that you're building and using. But that's going to do it for this video. If you find this video helpful, uh, let me know. Or if you have any questions about it, go ahead and put those down in the comments section, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. Always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there you'll find a link to all my tutorials and videos, a place to submit recommendations or feedback via email, my streaming schedule, link to all my social media accounts like Twitter, which is at OnlyDraven, and a lot of other different resources that you may find helpful. So I do recommend checking out the site. That is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.